how to access wisdom we're on a journey right now like spiritual archaeologists let us find where this wisdom is seeing that the presence of wisdom is the secret to an excelling life an excelling ministry an excelling family an excelling business even an excelling spiritual life it then means that anyone who is serious with god and serious with destiny must search for this wisdom wherever it is and that when you find it because the bible says that wisdom is the principal thing we're getting there shortly it says in all you're getting get wisdom get understanding he said exalt her and she shall promote you she will put an ornament a crown of glory upon your head when thou dost embrace her look at wisdom speaking to you he says by me kings reign and princes decree justice with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness that those who seek me early those who love me they will find me there is timing to the pursuit of wisdom lack of wisdom is costly especially in the world that we live in today follow me please to the book of job job 28 be patient and i'd like you to carry the determination of an archaeologist as we study this scripture we are searching for wisdom we want to find it and so desperately open our hearts to embrace it are you ready surely mm, job is speaking now how many of you know that there is a dimension of wisdom that comes through pain when you suffer beyond the threshold there is an impartation the haziness that foolishness brings can be eroded through the presence of pain this man at this time he's lost everything his reputation whatever it is sometimes you just need to lose all these things the prodigal son provided he had supplies his wisdom began to diminish until he got to a point where he was feeding with the swine the bible never said the holy ghost spoke to him the bible said he came to himself look the kind of wisdom that came out of that pain surely there is a vein for the silver and there is a place for gold where it is found is that true do we agree with this statement of course there are gold mines there are silver mines it says iron is taken out of the earth and brass is molten out of the stone uh-huh he set it an end to darkness and searched out all perfections the stones of darkness the shadows of death next verse please it says the flood breaketh out from the inhabitants you know and they are dried up they are gone away from men it's a long reading just be patient it says as for the earth out of it cometh bread good information for you you're searching for where bread is the bible tells you it's not in a bakery bread is found from the earth that means there is something you can do to the earth to command and force your portion out of it let me tell you what this means this is not where i'm teaching i just thought it was a point i should not let to just pass like that this earth is not just talking of the ground it's also talking of men that the secret to your bread is men so when god wants to give you bread he brings you to encounter man next verse verse six and the stones of it are the place of sapphires and it had the dust of gold there is a path which no fowl know it you know how high the fowl can fly but it says there is a path which no fowl knoweth, and the vulture's eye hath not seen the lion's whelps have not trodden it nor the fierce lion passed by it remember what we are looking for we are looking for the location of wisdom he put forth his hand upon the rock he overturned the mountains by the roots uh-huh he cut out rivers from among rocks and his eyes see every precious thing keep reading he binded the floods from overflowing and the thing that is hidden he brings forth to light verse 12 it says but where shall wisdom be found so look 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 the look the the 
the, the, the artistry of Job. He begins by showing us where some of the things we admire on earth. He says their location has been found. We don't have a problem looking for where gold is, where silver is, where iron is. Men have used advanced technology to excavate rocks to find minerals. But there is a particular spiritual resource we are still looking for. And Job said, where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Hmm. Our journey begins. It says, man knoweth not the price thereof. Neither is it found in the land of the living. That means CBN does not have it. That means our institutions do not have this kind of wisdom. It already gives you a clue that as you begin this archaeological journey, let me tell you where not to waste your time. Expo, it is not found in the land of the living. There is a kind that is found in the land of the living, but not this one. Next verse. The depth saith it is not in me. Find other minerals, but not this one. The sea, do you know what is hidden in the sea? Abundance in the earth hides in the sea. The Bible says, but this wisdom, the sea says, among the resources that were hidden there, this one is not part of them. Hmm. The Bible says, it cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir and the precious onyx or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it. And you are not looking for it? It says, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls. It says, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it neither shall it be valued with pure gold we are still looking for wisdom whence then cometh wisdom and where is the place of understanding hallelujah seeing that it is hid from the eyes of all the living and it is kept close from the fowls of the air destruction and death say we have heard of its fame come on look at the testifiers of the exploits of wisdom that destruction and, and death came to hold a mic and give a testimony that as we go around destroying people we have heard of this wisdom the fame we have heard of it that anyone who possesses this can beat us hands down we have heard of the fame thereof here is your answer God understand it the way thereof and he knoweth the place thereof mm. so after confusing us and leading us from pillar to post he now tells us that listen there is no archangel that holds this wisdom that god only god knows the way of wisdom and he is the exclusive custodian of this priceless commodity the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom that comes from above please pay attention i have seen people who carry in bodily form the spirit of wisdom I have seen people manifest natural wisdom. I have seen people manifest scientific and philosophical wisdom with the various degrees of results that support the kind of wisdom they carry. I have also seen people access demonic wisdom. But I have seen a few people, and I'm glad that this happened in my lifetime, people who access superior levels of wisdom many years ago as the lord was preparing me for ministry i listened to pat robertson the founder of 700 club cbn and he said as a young man when he was about to start ministry he prayed for three things he said lord give me wisdom number two give me favor number three 
give me the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I wrote it down quickly. And I prayed the same prayer too. I said, Lord, I don't trust this in my head. I don't trust what I know. Give me wisdom. Number two, give me favor. And number three, give me the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And then the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise. The proof of passion is pursued. And I began that journey aware of the, the many shades of ignorance and lack of wisdom in my life. I admitted the fact that if this kind of wisdom cannot be found it automatically or just because you have answered the call of God, you have it automatically. I don't mean to insult your pedigree, but I present to you a that the all-surpassing excellence of this wisdom can be felt pray and say father let me encounter the spirit of wisdom tonight give me an encounter this wisdom can only be found in god only be found in god for the way of the lord the lord I'm tired of my current results, oh God. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of... I want to show you, you see, everything that comes from God, even though it is a gift, it has conditions. In the cheapest and the greatest gift, as much as it is a gift, Romans chapter 8 from verse 10 from verse 8 down to 12 tells us that there is a condition. In fact, many conditions. At a personal level, the condition is that you believe with your heart, confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and then you are saved. It says, for with the heart man um, confesses, with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Is that true? And then when you go down to, I think, verse 15, it begins to say, even this man you see, how shall they... Go to verse 14, please. It says, how shall they call on him whom they have not believed? So believing is the key to calling on him. And how shall they believe if they have not heard? Hearing is the key to believing. And how shall they hear without a preacher? So a preacher is the key to hearing. Not just the word of God. A preacher is the key to hearing. I am the voice. He is the word, but I am the voice that cries. And then next verse says, How shall they preach except they be sent? So you are sent to preach. You preach, they hear. They hear, they believe. They believe, they call upon God. They call upon Him, they receive salvation. This is how it works according to Scripture. Are we blessed? There are conditions to access the spirit of wisdom. Number one. Now, please look up. Let me just teach you something before we delve into this. The of scripture to hide spiritual possibilities in the life and the stories of men. Are we together now? That means every time you begin to search for a dimension of spiritual reality your first element for instance is to understand the blessing of the lord and god's idea of what it means to be blessed in this kingdom then you go to isaiah chapter 51 from verse 1 and 2 that is the biblical recommendation it says to look unto abraham verse 2 your father and to sarah that bore you for i call him alone and blessed him and increased him that means to understand my idea of a blessed man under study abraham if you want to understudy the ministry of prayer the bible takes you in james chapter 5 from verse 13 down to 18 it now brings you to this personality called elijah he says elijah was a man of like passion so you use the person elijah to understand the power of prevailing prayer are we together now if you seek encounters and you want to understand the protocol to a spiritual encounter the bible tells us that the personality the go-to personality is this man called jacob 
in chapter 28 of genesis chapter 32 of genesis then chapter 24 of psalms this is the generation of them that seek thee they, that seek thy face O jacob king james says but the original translation says "O god of jacob so god recommends the encounter of jacob as the protocol for finding him are, are we learning now yes you don't blindly begin to search for truths just like that they are personified if you are learning favor you want to see the power of god's deliverance that god is able to deliver men the nation of israel from egypt is the classic expression of deliverance so you understood what did they do number one they were in captivity how did god help them he brought a man trained that man are we together now by signs and wonders he brought them out through his mouth his mighty hands the things that are written aforetime the bible says they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope so now we are discussing wisdom it is only wise and obvious that we make reference to the personality that was identified from scripture as the wisest man second only to jesus christ is that true so we are going to understudy the life of solomon the man that the bible says is the wisest man because once upon a time he did not have the manifestation of wisdom so what happened first kings chapter three Mm. verse 3 the first condition to access the spirit of wisdom please do not miss this is that you must have passionate love for god and for his program passionate love not just love passionate love for god the spirit of wisdom comes not just upon prayer warriors but genuine lovers of god not users of god not church goers not just bible study giants but lovers of god no eye has seen no ear has heard the bible says neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that god has in store for them that love him but he has revealed it to them by his spirit so the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom is a love affair as we learn from this reference solomon read with me please verse 3 one to read and solomon loved the lord hold on he never said and solomon wanted wisdom he didn't say solomon wanted fame he didn't say solomon wanted a name solomon loved the lord notice the two people that are references of wisdom the bible starts by telling us of their love life for god so loved the world he gave his son as proof of love solomon now also loved it's interesting that true wisdom starts with love and solomon loved the lord walking in the statutes of david his father is that true only he sacrificed burn incense in high places and then the second condition very quickly if you want to access wisdom you must have a sincere desire please keep that scripture there number one passionate love for god and his agenda number two you must have a sincere desire to be a blessing the spirit of wisdom cannot come on an individual who is not committed to being a blessing because wisdom manifests itself in supernatural solutions that bless all and sundry so there must be a passion and a determination in your heart you want the spirit of wisdom to come and elevate you in business in ministry in politics in every area of your life you must have a passion to be a blessing let's read verse um we're going to begin to read from verse 8 and 9 we'll come back but then let's just look at it verse 8 and 9 now in fact let's just start from verse 4 down to 9 media help us it says 
the king went to Gibeon and to sacrifice there for that was the great high place and the Bible says a thousand bond offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar uh -huh. next verse in Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night and said ask what I will give thee this ladies and gentlemen was the ultimate test of selflessness and a desire to be a blessing it is not an angel saying you should ask is the God of the Bible who has everything perhaps if I was the one who was asked that I would say God get a notebook you don't know where I'm coming from get a notebook The Lord said, Ask what I shall give thee. Verse 6. And Solomon said, Hallelujah. Look at the expression of selflessness, the determination to be a blessing. Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness, in uprightness of heart with thee, and thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day uh-huh so he's talking about rulership and now O lord my god thou hast made thy servant king instead of my father david and i am but a little child ah this man knows what to do with god there is there is a language that when you use with god eh, you are ready to receive something from him i am but a child i know not how to go out or how to come in because it is wisdom that gives direction he's saying i am void of wisdom and i admit it there's no need spending my life experimenting and returning back in pain then verse 8 and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen a great people he said that cannot be numbered or counted for multitude verse 9 here was his request give therefore thy servant an understanding heart what for to judge thy people that i may discern between good and bad for who is able to judge this this so great thy people notice he did not he keep that scripture there please he didn't ask for himself my brothers and sisters i've had a few encounters with the lord and i can tell you this there are kairos moments where when you have an opportunity that's when the flesh will say you better say it quickly speed promotion all kinds of things the life of my enemies and god was listening to the lord the, the solomon and solomon said lord i desire an understanding heart what we call wisdom and the reason why i need it is because of my passion to be an effective leader my passion to be a blessing can i tell you this everything that god gives you flows through you but should not stop with you if it stops with you even though he gave you it will kill you listen to what i am telling you everything god gives you provided it came from god it flows through you and you will benefit from it but ultimately it must move past you if god gives you an anointing if god gives you wealth if god gives you influence if he gives you increase if he gives you intelligence a platform whatever it is when he sends a word to jacob his intent is that it gets to israel are we learning so you must have a desire to be a blessing please say after me in the name of jesus shout it if you can't say in the name of jesus I obtain grace to be passionate about being a blessing I look beyond myself hmm. now this is a very strange language especially in this our world today the world of I me myself to hell with whatever happens to anybody provided I am enjoying You will never access the spirit of wisdom, ladies and gentlemen. Ilonia, uh -huh, to what end? Myself. So that I'll have a common insight into the world. To what end? Myself. The moment the language is self, you will not come. There are people who seek 
all kinds of spiritual virtues not just wisdom alone they seek the anointing they fast and they pray but the corruption that is behind that they just want it to come let us make mortar let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top will reach the heavens and let us make him it's about jesus christ enthroned that everything that flows through you flows to become a blessing You're blessing me for the sake of your people and god says okay i see that you are a faithful treasurer you want me to trust you with the wealth of the kingdom yes lord you will benefit disappointed me let me find you and he will trust you with dimensions of grace that you may not have known that to exist the third key to access the third condition to access the spirit of wisdom is found in first kings chapter 3 and verse 4 it's called the law of sacrifice solomon offered a thousand bond offerings sacrifice here does not just talk about finances alone there has to be total surrender in this case he offered offerings but there are levels of sacrifice where you are the offering you provide the fire i'll provide the sacrifice listen there are times that god is not looking for what comes from you you are the sacrifice he's looking for you want to receive an investment a rich investment of the spirit of wisdom you must become that sacrifice the bible says i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of the lord that ye offer your bodies unto god a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god he calls it your reasonable act of service there are people who bring money and they give god and he says carry your money away what i'm looking for is your heart do you know why because you see the kind of results you command when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you god must have your heart if not it would destroy you the pride that comes from the excellency of that result is the reason why many people do not last as god begins to lift them i'll be showing you the benefits of this spirit i am telling you when the spirit of wisdom comes upon you men will almost worship you because of the kind of result that comes from your life but if you have become that sacrifice you're on the altar and everything that comes through your life only becomes for his glory you can't scam god and play politics with him and say lord just grant me the spirit don't worry i'll return back he says no i have watched men for decades i know the vulnerability and the tendencies in their hearts the power of the spirit of wisdom is so i'm telling you in one month one month your life can so change your ministry can so change your business can so change you will marvel and wonder at what you become and so before he invests that dimension of grace on you he now tells you sacrifice solomon offered please look look with me imagine imagine that this entire altar is full of bulls and you are cutting them one by one and heaven is watching one thousand please keep that scripture there verse four one thousand for some of you you think one thousand is not much go and try to buy one ram right now with the current economic situation a healthy well-built ram one i don't know how much they sell but you go and try to buy it or one cow even if someone pushes it down it will stand up but you will still be angry that you paid so much and they're pushing that cow down and here is a man who just watched this and said let's start with 100 and he killed 100 and then he killed 200 and i can imagine the angel saying what is going on here 300 400 and he says no it's not enough add some more i want to show him how much i love him and God is saying it's not about the cows who is doing something to something that is so close to what my son is going to be doing this guy is about to give everything 800 cows or rams 850 900 950 and he still said let's add some more and he said angel stay back you don't need to go I will go myself 
this kind of sacrifice can i tell you this there are sacrifices both financial and otherwise that are representations of your passion and seriousness with god when you commit yourself to those levels of deep sacrifices you open yourself for encounters do you know there is a level of sacrifice that automatically becomes a covenant psalm 50 verse 5 give it to us please let me show you from scripture it is it's not a covenant that you enter willfully it says gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me how there is a level of passion and hunger god sees you giving so much for the kingdom and he says you are doing this for me god sees you promoting the kingdom in ways that you are going out of your way like a madman there was something solomon understood and the bible says that night not the next day god came to him and said you are calling me solomon said did i call you he says your sacrifice there are many of you your hearts you have not given anything in your life that has touched the heart of god to really command his presence this is not coercion in any way to inconvenience you but it's the truth can i tell you this behind the uncommon people you see god using world over today there is a dimension of sacrifice hmm. you know most times when people see god using an individual marvelously people begin to think it's just luck or you are lucky or you were fortunate to just find someone who laid hands on you my brothers and my sisters behind every story of genuine lasting exploit is blood dripping on the altar a testament of sacrifice you want to access the spirit of wisdom god must vet you until you die the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your reputation the sacrifice of your ego the sacrifice of your resources the sacrifice of your intelligence if it is the wisdom that comes from above you are looking for you have to get to that point where you say lord take everything ask anybody you admire ask anybody who manifests on common dimensions of results there is a sacrifice component as the condition that brought either the anointing or the wisdom of the spirit are we together anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me you have my everything all of me lord you have my everything you have my everything use my everything i release my everything take my everything say take all of me all of me lord you have my everything use all of me all of me lord sacrifice listen you know you have given all when there is nothing left again abraham take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest take your reputation the only one that you spent 30 years building take it to a mountain take your resources the one that you pride on oh it is by my strength that i'm a millionaire 
by my strength i'm a billionaire look what my intelligence has given me and god says if it's business you want to do with me let me show you how we do business in this kingdom i do not come to people who are strong when my strength finds strength it goes back it waits until you are empty let me tell you this there's nothing wrong with confession but there is a mistake we keep making in the body of christ there are times respectfully speaking not to mock or spite it but this blind claiming that we claim everything just like that no there are positive confessions but there are foolish claims that never lead to any results there is a real price not everything is a gift there are things that are rewards and if we do not balance this we will continue to mock ourselves jumping up and down and never be able to command results you want the spirit of wisdom lavishly at work in your life sacrifice so that god can call you today listen god can call you and say help them please he says you are a billionaire but i want you to leave that meeting come and you say yes sir after all i was dead before they even knew me hear me man of god if you want the spirit of wisdom to come upon you to command exploits in ministry it's more than a bible school it's more than just hands being laid on you death sacrifice there is nothing in my life today i tell you sincerely by the god of heaven there is nothing in my life today that i cannot give god nothing and be careful don't say that because god will vet you god take everything he says thank you he knows what to touch it's easy to give ishmael you can say ishmael leave but he says it's not ishmael i want take isaac isaac is a symbol of your future isaac is a symbol of your reputation isaac is a symbol the epicenter of your self-worth take it to a mountain if it's power you want in this kingdom if it's an investment of the spirit you want this one is not something you claim this one is a cup you drink and a baptism you are baptized into you want the spirit of wisdom to be at work in you the grace that subdues systems and structures dominion at a level and a frequency that confounds principalities and powers this one comes from above I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord. Your royal majesty Yabone nakao Sujada ne nakao There is something I know about sacrifice. Sacrifice is a magnet. It can call dimensions of God. There were people who encountered wisdom at the frequency of desperation and sacrifice. Please sit down. We'll soon be praying. Let me share with you an encounter one time. I don't like to tell too much of my stories because I like for people to place their faith on the Word of God and not just the experience of a man but sometimes it's good to bring some of these encounters 
I remember when I was passionately praying and desperately seeking for the spirit of wisdom in my life. I had seen fathers of faith. I studied the largest churches in all the continents at that time. And I saw profound display of wisdom in businessmen, people in ministry. I took out time to pray and pray and I said, Lord, please grant by your spirit. If this is true, let the Holy Spirit reveal himself as the spirit of wisdom in this life. The apostolic call has the spirit of wisdom as the principal signature. More than the miraculous. Because of the ministry of spiritual governance. And I had an encounter that night. Listen very carefully. I was, there was a long queue of people. And I was serving bread. And this bread was full of honey inside. Like you put um, jam or butter or something, you know. And then there was a machine there. This was how God gave me a revelation of the spirit of wisdom. There was a machine there that was producing the bread. It came out automatic with, the, with honey, dripping with honey. And I was collecting it and I was serving people. There was a long queue. But the shock was that the people were not seeing the machine. So they were looking at me. Where is this guy getting this thing from? I kept giving them. I kept giving them. I kept giving them. I kept giving them. I was surprised myself. The machine just produces it. I pick it up and give them. And they were eating. They were people who were hungry. You could look at their hunger, ravaged faces. They were there, desperate and thirsty. And that was when I knew by the Spirit that I had received an impartation of this grace. There is such a grace called the spirit of wisdom where God will come to you in the night and just say, this is how the next five years will be. Just do this. This is why there is no boasting. No. When the spirit of wisdom comes upon you, your life will look deceptively slow. Except that one step you take under the influence of that spirit will be 10 years in one. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. The spirit of wisdom. Sacrifice. Many of us do not pay attention to the sacrifice dimension of wisdom. Let me give you the fourth. I gave you four conditions. Number one, passionate love for God and His agenda. Number two, a sincere, passionate desire to be a blessing. Number three, sacrifice of your time, your resources, anything. The goal of that sacrifice is to bring you to a point of surrender and death to yourself. And then number four, you receive this wisdom by asking of the Lord. First Kings, again, chapter 3 and verse 9. Four conditions. You do not receive the spirit of wisdom if you do not ask. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart. Give therefore Joshua Selman the spirit of wisdom to be able to effectively birth the things that you desire to be birthed through this life james chapter 1 and verse 5 still on asking asking is a very important component in the kingdom it says if any of you lack wisdom let him not let him ask of a man of god who has it no the man of God who has it is not the source of the wisdom. He's only the channel that the spirit flows through. The person you ask is the owner, not the caretaker. Many of us are asking the caretakers. That's not your assignment. You are not called to go and look for people just by default. You ask the owner, Lord, everything belongs to you. I desire the spirit of wisdom. It is that owner now who knows his authorized dealers. Go to them that sell and buy. But there must be someone who tells you. Go to them that sell. Not everybody is in need. There are people who have it. Go to them that sell and buy. 
if you lack wisdom ask of god that giveth to all men how many men this manifestation of wisdom is not for men of god it's not for those in ministry it's not for those in business it's for everyone who seeks to see jesus revealed and glorified in and through your life that you want to accomplish you want to fulfill destiny he says he gives liberally and upbraided not and it shall be given to him because the law is for everyone that asketh he shall receive everyone that seeketh he shall find and to him that knocketh he says the door shall be opened ask of the lord there are times that you can lock yourself and pray and say father i confess before you that my life is limited the reason why my finances are down is not because of the economy the finances are down because of my belief systems there is there is the absence of wisdom even if the economy changes it will not affect me i need wisdom the reason why i am down is because wisdom has not elevated me to the throne by me kings reign and princes decree justice lord i ask you for wisdom mm. grant me the spirit of wisdom and god says i have seen your heart you love me passionately i have seen how selfless you are i've seen how sacrificial you are now let me recommend you to a place where you can get that wisdom come for koinonia and you will access the spirit of wisdom One of the ways that God exposes you to the spirit of wisdom is to bring you to the atmosphere where that spirit is at work. That's what happened to Saul in the Bible. To go to a garrison of the prophets. You just go and stand there. If you want to receive a miracle in a crusade ground, you have to go near. Go close where God is ministering. The probability of you receiving is highest when you are close there. Are we learning? Praise the name of the Lord.